everyone, it is me, FC, and today I am going over what Pulse LN is. So right here, I just went to the PulseLN.com. Pulse LN is not a Richard Hart project, but it is going to be a part of the Pulse Chain Network. And I'll get into it later, but um, I really like supporting different projects in the ecosystem for Pulse Chain, just because, I mean, you don't know if they will work out, but I think this one has great potential and I do like it. So I'll go over what it is and then you can do more research and decide if you also like it. So Pulse LN, it's a Pulse Bitcoin swap. So Pulse Chain's fastest and simplest fiat on-ramp solution. And uh, so you can use Cash App and then all these other ones um, if they are lightning enabled exchange to go from fiat so cash in your bank account to Pulse and other Pulse Chain assets in seconds. This is awesome because this is going to allow to go from your bank account directly to Pulse, which is literally like the best thing ever. So it's an on-ramp, that's what that's called. And I think this one's going to be monumental. The lightning enabled exchange i clicked on it and it brought me to github so i always love github um but it just goes into what a lightning network is so if you don't know what that is come in here um, i actually didn't know what it was until i went and read through this if you're in the us or uk like me um you use cash app and then there's there's all these other ones so they really have like gone into depth on all of these different things so go through this this is the readme file so it's you know in english so you can understand it or, or in a language not coding um so go check that out if you don't know which one you can use and enjoy the two fastest and most popular blockchains with cheat fees pulse chain and bitcoin's lightning network great okay bridging networks pulse ln allows you to swap pulse and lightning network btc in less than 10 seconds for low fees. So something about the Pulse Chain Network, if you don't know what the Pulse Chain Network is, I will put a video up here if you wanna click on that. Um, but they are going to have some of the lowest fees and it's going to be very efficient. So that's gonna be awesome. But to be able to you know, connect from BTC, which is Bitcoin to Pulse, like that's awesome. Pulse Chain users can now instantly access thousands of low cost services on the Lightning Network, including BitRefill, BitCart, Strike, and more. And we can visit LN stores for more information. I actually haven't looked at this, so let's come in here and just see what they have. Um, cool, okay. Oh, so they're Lightning Network stores. And there are lots of different ones, wonderful. So if you're more interested in that, go click on that link, which says the LN stores. And then Bitcoin users can finally instantly access Pulse Chain, the fastest layer one blockchain, which is what I just said, and the most popular high yield savings asset in the cryptoverse, Hex. Visit Hex.com for more information. If you don't know what Hex is, click on that link. Um, Hex is awesome. PLN, the Pulse. LN Founders Token will launch with mainnet and accrue all PulseLN.com swap fees. The freedom to swap sacrifice address set could be airdropped free PLN. Nice. Okay. And then it tells us what the PLN token is. PLN is a Founders Token that could accrue all swap fees from PulseLN.com. PLN may be airdropped for free to certain PLS Pulse Chain addresses. PL or Pulse LN's automatic buy and burn function could use fees to buy PLN from the PulseX. So it's a PLN PLS pair, okay, and burn it on a regular basis. This may cause constant buy pressure in addition to potential price appreciation from the underlying Pulse backing. Okay, so it does have an automatic buy and burn. PLN's tokens max supply could be fixed at launch and constantly decrease due to the automatic buy and burn function. PLN's shrinking supply could cause a rapid increase in value during demand spikes. That's great. <laughs> All right, exchange listing of PLN on PulseX 
will ensure easy access for the public. Buying PLN requires Pulse. Other pairs may exist, but in such a scenario, the PLN Pulse pair could or would likely be the most liquid. And the freedom to swap sacrifice address set could be airdropped free PLN. Let's click on this leak. Oh, okay. Oops. So it's talking about if you sacrifice that you could be airdropped the PLN token. It looks like sacrifice is still open right now, but uh, come to the website if you want to sacrifice. It may be closed by then. Um, who knows? <laughs> so that it could be an option. You can sacrifice from Ethereum or the Binance Smart Chain. And there are specific coins that you can sacrifice. And then, oh, this just goes into the Pulse Testnet is live. And this is how you're going to add in information to have the Pulse Chain Testnet. If you haven't already gone about that or if it's already mainnet, you don't have to worry about that. And then this is a, just a disclaimer about sacrificing. So come in and read this, but Pulse LN I think is going to be a really cool project because it's going to give that opportunity to be able to go from your bank account to the Pulse chain literally in seconds. They do have a Twitter. Let's click on that. Pretty sure I follow them. I guess we'll see. <laughs> yes, I am following them. Awesome. Um, so you can get more instant updates of what's going on through here. I have actually messaged them before asking them uh, about the sacrifice actually because I didn't see an end date for it and it was still open when I saw that. Yeah, come follow them on Twitter. Do more research about sacrificing, but I think it's going to be an amazing project on the Pulse Chain ecosystem because it just is going to add one more thing, one more uh, way to ease and have a frictionless uh, transition into fiat to cryptocurrency, which is amazing. Let me know your thoughts on Pulse LN in the comments, and I'll talk to you all later. Bye.